All right, so uh, I hope it can be heard, right? Am I audible? Can I confirm if okay, all right, thank you so much. Yes. So uh we starting our daily stand up Tuesday today. Let me welcome uh, new people who joined us yesterday. Do we have some here? Like do we have people who joined us yesterday or maybe today, like new people to this week? Karume, Dugo. Yeah, you you're mostly welcome. So uh, we all actually have a stand up every every morning, uh exactly at 8 uh, a.m. to 8.30, that's UTC, so you should convert this uh, time zone to your uh, local time zone, yeah. So um, welcome, guys. So um, I think I want to share with you the schedule of today. Just, let's just run into it, and after that, uh, we're going to have some uh, time for you guys to speak up, maybe what, you're, what have you done. Uh, yesterday, like while you're planning to do maybe anything you can, yeah, you can just open your mic and say. But before that, uh, today we're going to have, uh, of course, we're having a daily stand up, and then after that, we're going to have a uh, day two question and answer with all tutors. Uh, I would love you guys to join this one. It's going to be uh, exactly at uh, 9 to 10 a.m. That's UTC, so you should convert your time zone. After that, we're going to have community building session. I would also like to tackle on this uh, for community building session. Actually, mostly those people who didn't, uh, who were not with us last last week. So these are basically organized sessions, mostly on Slack, but we we'll also be hosting some on 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 Google Meet, like here. Uh, these are mostly uh, sessions designed to facilitate uh, connections, foster relationships, and natural collaborations among trainees. So it provides a chance for you to network and engage with one another, exchange ideas, you know, make friendship, uh, even get potential opportunities, not just that, but also, but to, uh, it's a place to relax, you know, it's a place to have fun, no more each other, everything like that. So we're going to have community building session exactly at, um, I'm converting there over here. So uh, the time is 10.30 to 11 that's utc then after that we won't have independent challenge work that's for today so i would love you guys to check the notion schedule it's it's been updated i think that's that would be it yeah so after that i think maybe we can just yeah sure so uh, after that we i think we have uh tutors on the call if you have maybe any challenge or anything you want to say or maybe any question uh, you might want to share maybe how was yesterday for you, how did you cope up with the challenge and everything. Uh, yeah, you can speak. Even for new people, you can you can ask any question, you can even get introduction, anything. Hello, am I audible? Yeah, sure, we can hear you, Karume. Uh, my name is Karume. As you've heard, I joined the program a little bit late because I was held up in another program. I've started week one. I've made some progress. I've gone through the YouTube videos. They were very helpful. But I have a question. I don't I don't understand what I have, I have submitted the CV, but I haven't been able to submit the the PDFs for the other tasks because I I feel I'm, I'm, I don't I can't understand what what exactly it is the content that we have to submit. Okay, so you don't you don't understand the content like what you have to submit. Yes, I know it's supposed to be a PDF, but the content inside the PDF, more so on the RBM, the the result based okay. management. I haven't I haven't. No, not what are we submitting? Is it a document? Is it a table? Yes, okay. that's that's yeah. I got you. And maybe from trainees, anyone willing to help? Anyone on the call here, like maybe from trainees? If you have had, yes, yes, Givere. Okay, hello, Karume. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Okay, I also had the same challenge as I was tackling those questions or the challenge uh, in general. Uh, but I would advise maybe you sit down 
like try to understand the data. Uh, the data is about solar and we all know what solar needs. It's something to do with like, we, we all know maybe solar uh, needs like, so you, you have to think, to think about uh, issues surrounding the solar, like we have solar during the day, no solar during the night, maybe uh, energy from solar will be highest during the afternoon than other times of the day, such things. So look look at the data in that angle and you might understand, from there you might understand what will be required of you. Thank you, Gidere. Uh, Karume, are we good now? Yes, yes, I've, I've understood. I've understood yeah. what what Gidere has said, but on the on the result based management, mm -hmm. that's where I think I have the biggest challenge: understanding what what I'm supposed to deliver after going through what result based management is and what it is. Okay, I think you have uh, tutors on the call. Maybe they can help. Gidere, you want to add something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. On the same. On the same. Uh, because I've already tackled the assignment. It's. Uh, I think it's asking us to to apply result based management in our project. Like we have those principles. Uh, like I can remember, this goal setting mm -hmm. for the outcome and uh, output. For example, that is one of the principles of, of result based management. So you try to ask yourself with this data. Now that I know, maybe. Uh, this is when I can benefit a lot from the solar than this time. So what will be the outcome? And where, yeah, you try to ask yourself such questions. Uh, maybe okay. These are, okay, okay. Okay, I, th I think uh, maybe uh, uh, Kerod. Okay, yeah. Uh, so first, Karumi, welcome. Uh, it's afternoon, it's nice to have you here. And uh, I hope you know that we are currently in week two, so we are doing another challenge. So my first advice would be uh, for you to work on this week's ch challenge because you cannot uh, keep up with the rest of your uh, peers if you are still working on week one's challenge when we are on uh, week two. Uh, and I think Aaron has mentioned this uh, yesterday that you are allowed to uh, just not submit uh, last week's project since you guys uh, joined late. Uh, that being said, uh, if you want to proceed with week, week one, you are always welcome. And um, so first, I would advise you to go through the recordings that we have already put on YouTube. And I think most of the, uh, the questions will be answered when you are uh, watching those videos. And yeah, so the project basically is for you to analyze the data that's, gig, that's collected by some sensors about this uh, a site. I, we gave you around three sites and we have actually aggregated the data uh, because it was in large da data. It was collected by minute and we aggregated it to 10 minutes and uh, provided it to you. So you just have to analyze this data on key pointers uh, you have to analyze which key pointers you want to uh, work on and just do some basic analysis on these pointers and do some charts and visualizations on these uh, key pointers and or key matrices you, you can call them and just come up with some strategic uh, points and some strategic plan for the company uh, and recommendations on where to do to work or when to put their next site and just uh, strategy uh, on where to put their uh, site and uh, what to work on and so on. I hope that uh, makes it clear. So you are uh, welcome to use AI, uh, uh, like uh, you can use uh, like uh, Looker Studio for you for building your dashboards and uh, spreadsheets for building uh, your charts and doing some analysis. Uh, and you can use slides and other actually actually you can you are always open to work on any uh, tools that is that's comfortable to you. But these are our advice. 
uh, yeah, so any questions you may have, you can always reach out to us uh, at any time. We are available to help. Hope that makes it clear. Yes, it's clear. Right. Thank you. Thank you for the assistance. All right. Thank you, uh, Kiron. All right. And we have a question in the chat box. Uh, for people who didn't submit the assignment last week uh, for solar project and CV, can they still submit? Okay, so, uh, Kiron, do you know, do you have an idea on that? Yeah, you can. Uh, it's not closed. You can still submit your work. Uh, yeah. The portal is still right. open. All right. So I uh, hope, Faisa, you have heard. You can still uh, upload, but we would also love maybe if you could be, up, I mean, uh, submitting on, on, on time. Yeah. All right. Any other question, challenge, anything? And for people, for new people who just joined the program uh, yesterday or recently, you can check this link. It have all guidance on how you can go uh, with this uh, week two. Yeah. So we have uh, zero file. You want to say something? Hello. Yes. How are you, everyone? You can hear you. Yeah, sure. You're welcome. Uh, question and. The challenge. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? You hear you? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, my question is: uh, I have reviewed the challenge documents and I attempted to complete task one in week two. However, when I searched for Microsoft financial indicators from seven different companies. Uh, I noticed uh, that uh, the values were different at different times for uh, the same company. So this inconsistency may cause confusion in the analysis. What should I do? Okay. Thank you and for the, the question. We sorry for the challenge. Yeah. Yes, Kerod. Yeah, the reply. Uh, the question is not clear. So, uh, what's different? I, I don't understand. I understand. Okay. Uh, yeah. Human may be typing the, it down. The values were different uh, for the different. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can't hear you. Uh, go. On. So do you understand me? No, the values are di different for what? For the team, the, for the same companies, at different times, the values are different. It gives different uh, values for the same companies. Uh, okay, so so yeah, we, we, it's financial data, data so you, we, we do not expect to have the same uh, numbers or values for all the years uh, it should be growing or should be they would, uh, should be profiting or lo losing some money so that's your uh, your question yeah. uh, so okay i understand okay okay yeah abdullah this uh, you can go on okay thank you uh, uh, on task one while I okay. search for key financial indicators from 2018 to 2023. Uh, on Copilot, when I search for Facebook or for Meta, uh, I mean, it says that the data is not available for this year's. Perhaps I, I was thinking to refine my search term or any kind of suggestion. I mean, I'm not getting some data for market capitalization for our entity and for net profit from microsoft uh, copilot oh okay uh, maybe it's because of your prompting you can adjust you can always adjust your prompting and i would advise you to look through other llms of course uh, i think uh, uh, i think Gemini is good too because it has uh, integrated a real-time web, web search so you can do that too but so we, we do have it to microsoft copilot right uh, no, you're, you're not, you're not, but it's like, we just recommended it because it's better than the chat GPT and others, but you are not limited, of course. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, you can go. 
Give Hello. me. Yes. Yeah. Can uh, go. Okay. I've done. I've made some progress on challenge two, and actually I'm on task two, and uh, there's something that I want to seek clarification on. Uh, because task one directs us to focus on one of the seven stock company, and uh, for example, I decided to focus on Microsoft Corporation. But when you go to task two, uh, okay, the question on task two kindly allow me a minute. On task two, it's saying analyze key financial indicators and make a recommendation. What? Pick three indicators from the list above. That's fine. Uh, then create three graphs, one for each indicator, and include data from all seven companies. So does this does this not collide with question one? Because question one is telling us to focus on one company, whereas yeah. task two is telling us to compare with all the other seven companies. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, I think it needs a further classic clarification on this point. But uh, what we are trying to do is uh, the one company that you are going to present to your uh, like boss's sister is the one company. But you are going to do the analysis for all seven companies and just come up with your own recommendation and suggestions based on your uh, analysis. So you're going to do the analysis for all seven companies you're gonna collect the whole data for them and you're gonna analyze it and just come up with a strategy and uh, not a strategy a recommendation on where she should invest the uh, 10k dollars okay that so meaning clear. yeah so meaning question one needs a uh, task one needs a refinement eh? yeah we, we, we will get back to, to you asap Okay, 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 thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, okay, I think uh, from the um, comment section, I see some questions. Let me, I just answer this once and I will give it to you. Uh, more practice and, uh, okay, so uh, yeah, we are planning and we have been doing uh, practical works after the theoretical sessions. So yeah, uh, we will uh, definitely work on more practical questions from now on, or practical sessions from now on. And uh, uh, your feedbacks and your leaderboard will be updated, I think, uh, end of day, today, or at the latest tomorrow morning. Uh, yeah, the end of work. Uh, yeah, you can always reach out to us and your peers, and we are more than happy to answer your questions. Um, uh, yeah, that's all I have for now. Okay, I will. Hello, guys. How are you doing? All good, all good. Uh, so, like, uh, I'm just a suggestion to add on, like, uh, the comment before I let you give. Uh, for this week's uh, this week task, mm -hmm. uh, I think I think the Microsoft uh, uh, the Microsoft LLM is working fine for all the questions. You can easily find all the data. You can extract the data. If you face any challenge, like uh, ping me on Slack and I'll show you to guys. Uh, and also, uh, I think the questions most of the questions are straightforward. So, like if you face any challenge. I'm um, happy to help you guys. Just start this. Okay. Thank you, Abel. And Collagio, uh, I think most of them are listed on the challenge document. And uh, yeah, if, if you want further clarification, we can uh, just ask on Slack and we can write them to you. That's it from me. Uh, uh, Emilian, take over. Thank you so much, uh, Kirod. Um, any other question or challenge, maybe? Okay, I think uh, everything is now fine. But uh, for more questions, I think we can still use a Slack as our interaction and communication channel. Yes, Givere, you want to say something? Yeah, one last question. Uh... Yeah when we are using uh, this uh, copilot okay i just found out that copilot is uh, a product of microsoft 
And uh, whatever we covered last week uh, was a product of Google, eh? the Google Sheets. Eh? So when it comes to downloading this data, uh, be because like the likes of me, I have both a Google account and a Microsoft account, dot look, and I have a dot Gmail. Eh? So when I'm downloading this data, my data gets to dot, uh, dot look. Eh? Is, it, uh, is it okay for me to submit uh, that data? from dot look or is it a must for me to transfer it to the to, to the gmail gmail sheet the google sheet uh, okay so again uh, we're not looking for you to submit the data we just want your analysis and recommendation so you can work on whichever uh, platform you can uh, you find easy and you find it to be uh, your choice but we just want, want to you, you to do some analysis and provide some recommendations. And you can also always export it to the spreadsheets. You can export it to your machine and import it, it to your spreadsheet if you want to work on the last six tools. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, just right. one more thing, uh, if you yes, if there are uh, more questions, uh, make sure to join the Q&A session that we are going to have, I think, in half an hour. Uh, so uh, we can go even deeper on the problem. And uh, afterward, uh, you uh, please ma make sure to join and ask your questions there. Uh, I think it's going to be more helpful. Thank you. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Gerard. Um, So, uh, no more challenges here. But if, see if there is, we, we have that session there, then yeah, you can prepare your challenges, your questions, and everything. Yeah, all tutors will be available. So, I think that's it for today. If there's no more challenge, no question, Yes, after work. OK, uh, can you hear me? Yes, yeah, sure. OK, thank you. Uh, uh, especially, uh, I need uh, someone who can help me, especially who is in Addis Ababa. I, I raised my phone number. I put phone number here. Uh, in person, I want to contact if there is possible. Uh, that is my question. Okay, amazing. Mm -hmm. If this yeah. anyone from Addis Ababa, maybe uh, you yeah. can assist at the work. But you can still also uh, find someone on on Slack. I would recommend okay. uh, community building session. You can find them as more as you can. Yeah, I, I see more. Uh, in Addis, his name is in Addis Ababa, but uh, still no one. Is show me his uh, offering uh, if there is possible uh, anytime okay. i will contact in person with him and i want to discuss uh, because it's training is uh, new for me and uh, i have to uh, catch up uh, everything uh, uh, the training is uh, forward for us okay i understand all right maybe if there's someone here uh mm -hmm. they can contact mm -hmm. you but maybe mm -hmm. if you don't get someone here, uh, I think on Slack it's more, you can get, uh, sure you can get someone. Okay, thank you, okay. Yeah. All right, so let's call it for today. I think that's that was it for stand up. So let's just meet uh, in the next session, which is uh, Q and A with all tutors. And after that, we're going, going to have community building session Tomorrow, we're going to have uh, the tutorial about introduction to uh, financial indicators, then community building session, then another tutorial, career challenge introduction, then dependent challenge work, then um, the next day, which is going to be uh, uh, Wednesday, we're going to have guest talk. We have a guest talk on, on Wednesday, so guys should be there. And then on Friday, we're going to have a tutorial about LM Olympic sessions. And community building session. That's it for the week two schedule. Thank you so much. So let's meet in the next session.
Bye. Wait, uh, Tim, 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 me, is it me? I don't know if I can read your question. I mean, your your name correctly. I, I see your hand raised. Did you want to say something before we end? There's some people have left already. Oh. Against the meeting. Okay. Uh, hello. Yes. Did you want to say something? Okay, but I will uh, ask uh, tomorrow then, if uh, people are leaving. Okay, maybe you can consider asking the next session. We are having Q and A with teachers. If you have a question, maybe you can ask. It's in uh, thirty uh, minutes, I think. Yeah. I mean, uh, I, I have a new camera. This is my yeah, first yeah, session so in the. Okay, I understand, okay, but then if you came, if you came, then it's yeah. where you can ask. I, I'm going to send you the link where you can get all okay. the guidance. I think I've already sent in the group. I don't know if you have checked. If you're a newcomer, you can uh, go on that page, Notion page, then it, you get all guidance through all this week and understand everything. Then maybe for more questions, we have Slack as our interaction and communication channel. Then you can ask anything, right? Okay, thank you. All right, thank you so much.